Today we are taking a look at the Osim Uthorn S ergonomic gaming chair. So this chair also doubles up as a massage chair with inbuilt vibration systems. So did I also mention that this chair is modular with all the Osim products you can purchase, which I'll be going a little bit more in depth later on. This chair also reclines up to 155 degrees for people who like to take naps in their chairs and it has many adjustable functions so you can fit people of all different sizes. So without further ado, let's take a look at what this chair is all about. Oh, sorry guys, I didn't catch you there, I was enjoying my massage. Um, but yes, let me just introduce myself a little bit before I start this review proper. My name is Ryan, and as some of you guys may know me on uh, Tech360's main channel, I do community reviews for them. And I'll also be a community reviewer for the Terrified channel, uh, and you'll be able to expect more videos like this in the near future. But today's topic of the review will be the U-Throne S Gaming Ergonomic Chair. So if some of you guys may be familiar with Osim, with the brand Osim, they do massage um, products such as massage chairs and even gaming chairs like this one itself. So the U-Throne S, which I'm currently sitting on right now, is the second iteration of the U-Throne series. Let's talk a little bit about what we are seeing today in this review. So this is the U-Throne S, which I mentioned. And did I already mention that you can customize the chair, which is, I feel, which, which would be more applicable to a lot of people instead of having a fixed massage system. So it comes with three different designs which I'll be going through later on. And uh, let's not take too much time, we'll talk about the design of the chair and what this chair is all about. Okay, so let's talk about the design of the chair. Uh, the design is very much similar to a lot of gaming chairs out there, but obviously this is a massage chair as well. So let's talk a little bit about the external features of the chair. Let me give you briefly uh, my size and my height so you can understand roughly like how this fits to me. So I'm currently at 177 meters and I weigh approximately 70 kilos. So this chair actually fits really nicely to my frame. The backrest is kind of not too high and not too low. So I have the U Cozy 3D attached now, but without it, I can also very easily lean my back and it acts as a headrest for me. The chair itself is made of PVC leather, which is very nice on the skin and the cushion is actually quite soft. And uh, being my weight, I wouldn't say I'm too heavy, but uh, sitting on this chair for long hours it actually is quite nice. Also, they have the chair actually has suede textures on the side, which creates kind of a nice characteristic to the chair. So if you, obviously you can see that this chair is fully black, which is the Marvel series, which I'll focus on in a little bit. But the Marvel series is also only exclusively available to Asia if you are purchasing it and you happen to be in Asia. Apart from all the colors and the feel of the chair, let's talk a little bit about the function. So the chair reclines back all the way to 155 degrees, which is perfect for taking naps. Uh, my girlfriend has actually taken a nap in it, or she has fallen asleep on the chair before. So in terms of comfort, this chair does really well for me. In terms of the width of the backrest, my shoulders aren't exactly too wide, but you can see it fits me just about right. So if you're smaller, if you have a smaller frame than me, this would be a little bit more cozy for you and the chair actually wraps around you. So for those of you which are, I guess, like slightly bigger and taller than me, this is something that you want to consider because I'm leaning all the way back and it's quite nicely just touching my frame. So another thing I wanted to mention about the seat is that right now I have the lumbar support on the chair which is removable. The seat depth is really deep without the lumbar support and it supports my thighs all the way to my knees. But the thing I wanted to mention is when I have the lumbar support, it creates, it takes up a bit of space on the seats. My knees are not exactly touching the front of the seat and it creates a little bit of gap. So a bit too much in my opinion. But I have relatively long legs. So this is something that you might want to consider. In terms of the depth and the width of the seat, if I'm sitting like this, it's actually quite nicely fitted. But one thing I don't really like about the chair is that because of the sides, they kind of like have an accent and come in at a depth and an angle. It, I like to sit cross-legged and sometimes I like to like put one feet up under my leg. And I can't actually exactly do that because the material here is it's soft like I mentioned before, but it's also a little bit hard. Uh, which makes me uncomfortable when I'm crossing my legs. But apart from that, the armrests are fully adjustable so you can adjust the height, the depth, the length of it. Sorry, not length, but the 
adjustment where you can move forward or backwards, which is, I believe, would be able to fit anyone of any size. So obviously, there are the massage functions, which are really cool. So uh, the chair, three designs. So you have a three marble designs, which are all fully black, which I think would fit to a lot of gamer aesthetics out there. You have the Spider-Man, Captain America, and Iron Man. Osim actually sent me the Iron Man version of this chair. So behind me on the backrest, you actually have the Iron Man chest piece there. Uh, which is designed into the chair, which is really nice, as well as the lumbar cushion with the Iron Man face. So if you select the other Marvel series uh, products, they have different designs as well. So I would advise you to check them out. Um, but let's talk about the main reason why this chair will be different from other gaming chairs out there, which is the massage functions. So let's take a look about the features and specs of this chair. So this chair is loaded with a lot of features and a lot of customizability. One in fact that I'm most uh, fond of is the option that you can attach different OSIM products to this chair to make your chair uh, fit to your needs, whatever it may be. The different products that are attachable are like the Ugozi 3D, which I have on my neck right now, and the U Lumbar. So let me just give you a brief understanding of what the Yukozi 3D does. It gives you sort of like a massage on your neck, which is really nice after long hours of sitting on your chair. And you know, like uh, sometimes you get neck aches from sitting on long hours. So this does the job perfectly right, which I am sort of enjoying right now. Uh, but yes, I shouldn't keep this on for too long, otherwise I might fall asleep. The U Lumbar is also sold separately, which you can purchase, and it gives you like sort of a vibration massage at your lower back, and it promotes blood circulation, which I have to say, when I'm using other um, gaming chairs or other chairs out there, my lower back actually gets really pained very easily, so I have that problem. And I guess after using for two weeks on this chair, the U Lumbar actually provides quite a nice uh, massage, which keeps my muscles tender and doesn't really tense up as much uh, but I'm sure like it also has to be involved with like the number of hours they are sitting on a chair so I think I mentioned before sometimes I sit to up to eight hours a day on this chair so obviously with all these massage functions in the chair you obviously have to power the chair somehow the chair has to be powered through a electrical outlet on the wall and it comes with a cable where you can attach it to the bottom of your chair and obviously there's a lot of cables lying around but the chair at the the U-Tone S um, at the bottom of the seat has some cable management systems which will help you tidy up the cables a little bit more. So on the side of a chair you also have a vehicle adapter where you can attach and this goes directly all the way to the U-Cozy 3D which goes up to your neck. The U-Lumbar however is not really powered through the chair itself. You have to attach a power bank externally in order to power the U-Lumbar and the Ulamba cushion actually has a pocket at the side where you can put and slot in your power bank. So let's just cover a little bit and give you an understanding of what the chair has to do in terms of power delivery and massage systems. But let's go on to focus more about usability of the chair and how functional it really is. Alright, so in terms of usability, like I mentioned before, I've been using this chair for two weeks and even though this chair has a lot of really great functions like the massage system and how soft the chair really is, I have to say that uh, the fact that it has to be plugged into the wall has caused me quite a number of issues. Why do I mean by that? So I'm sure like, you know, having a cable lying around your chair is not exactly the safest because I feel like I can't help but feel when I have a cable attached to the wall, even though there's some cable management systems under the chair, uh, there is a lot of excess cable lying around which means that I might actually have to roll over them at some point. So it kind of gives me the impression where I can't, I'm like supposed to sit in the chair and not move, which obviously you can, but then again that comes with another problem, meaning that if it's attached to the wall, you have a limited distance where you can roll around. But obviously I feel like, you know, if you're a gamer or if you work at long hours of your desk, you don't exactly have to move around very far unless you don't have a power outlet that is close to your table. But I'm sure since you're already powering your workstation, right, you will most likely have a power adapter close by. But for some people, this may be an issue. So as you can see for my, like myself, my workstation is actually powered by a lot of things. I have speakers, I have a subwoofer, I have two monitors, and I also have my G drive at the back. So that means I already have taken out about five or six power outlets and having to add another additional one just so that I can use the OSIM chair might be an issue for some. But fortunately for me, my room is still um, okay with me having to just plug one more product in. 
But another thing I wanted to mention is the cable management system. So even though you have hooks at the bottom, and I'm not talking about the power to the chair, I'm talking about the cable which goes from the vehicle adapter all the way to the Ucozy 3D. So what I mean by that is, if you can just take a look at the side of my chair, I sort of have this cable just dangling around, and it's held together by like a, you know, sort of the flip metal thing where you purchase like cables and then they give you. But I don't really think this adds to the aesthetic. Um, and I feel like there isn't any way that you can cable manage this as best as this could. You know, if you guys ever figure out something, let me know in the comments. But uh, like I mentioned, you just have to leave the cable dangling around here. And, you know, having such a nice chair, right? I don't think like this really adds to the aesthetic of it. Uh, but apart from that, the I don't understand why um, the U Lumbar in particular has to be powered by an external power bank since I already have my chair plugged into the wall. Um, but I guess like maybe in the next iteration of the U Throne Gaming chair, um, Osim could include one more power adapter, maybe perhaps. And another thing about the U Lumbar is the power bank. That's another issue. So I mentioned before that you actually have a pocket which you can slot a power bank in. However, um, this is the only power bank that I have and it doesn't really fit into the pocket. I wouldn't say this is too big. As you can see, it's kind of normal size, I guess. I know it's a bit long, but um, taking into consideration how like a lot of power banks nowadays are a bit large, uh, I feel like it's going to be quite an issue when you're trying to use this U Lumbar. And besides the fact if it doesn't fit in the pocket, you just have to put it at the side, I guess, and it creates a little bit of discomfort because it's kind of touching my body. But I guess for people that are smaller than me, uh, this shouldn't be an issue. But again, I think this is not the best way of um, you know organizing your things when you're trying to be productive. I guess you know the chair is really usable and it's really nice, but obviously there are little minor setbacks as um, as is true to all other gaming or ergonomic chairs out there. To summarize all of the usability tests, I have one more thing that I wanted to mention is that the chair actually has quite a small caster. Uh, if you're not familiar with caster, it's like the wheels. So uh, for quite a big chair, this chair is actually quite tall and it's quite big. The weight, if I'm not wrong, is around 26 kilos. So you can find all the full specifications on the OSIM webpage. Coming back onto the casters and the wheels, the wheels for some reason are not exactly very easy to move around. So I have to actually put in quite some force in order for me to move the chair around. Perhaps this is Osim's way of uh, making sure that nobody rolls over their wires. So that would be very effective. But I don't think that's one of that's that's the main reason why the casters are so difficult to roll around. Um, but yes, I guess like, you know, I pretty much cover all the uh, good and bad points about this chair. So let's just wrap this review up and let's talk about my summary and my opinions only. Alright, so to summarize this review, I just want you guys to take note that Osim is not sponsoring this video, so I'm only sharing my truest and most honest opinions. So let's talk about price. This chair will set you back $1,000, and I can see how the modularity and uh, customizability of this chair will open much. Uh, to, would open up to a much wider demographic which not only entails to gamers like myself i'm not a gamer but i enjoy using the chair uh, and some of the products that you can use in tandem with this chair is the u vision u pulse mat and u squeeze hand which is like this glove thing where you put your hand in and massages your hand and i feel like a lot of gamers would enjoy that because they use their mouses a lot right but obviously with that much being said about the chair there are some setbacks which i feel are major concerns such as the fact that I need to plug in uh, a power cable to the wall and I'm sure Osim didn't put a battery in this chair for some reason and I hope that they would address this because this is quite a big concern I feel that will apply to a lot of people. Uh, the cable management systems on the side of the chair like all these dangling cables I feel like you know just attaching some cable management systems like the ones that you have under the chair would definitely help but yeah, I, I feel like definitely looking forward to more versions of this U Throne gaming chair in the future and I can't wait to get myself acquainted to those and do a review for you guys. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this review so far and let me know down in the comments if you're interested to pick this U Throne gaming chair out and what customizability would you use in tandem with this chair. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you follow us on our social platforms. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this Ryan Mamba's perspective and I'll see you guys in the next one.